Hi and welcome to this video where I want to tell you more about my Rayet R400 laser. My name is Dennis and I am from Hooked on Wood. And when you want to buy something more expensive, you are looking for information about it. And YouTube is one of these great platforms to which to get this information. So when I was looking for a new laser engraver and had this Rayet on my shortlist, I could not find any information about it. So I want to share my experience with it so I could help others interested in this laser. And I want to start with my conclusion, in case you missed the review's end. Because when we talk about professional lasers, even entry-level professional lasers, it's not all about the machine anymore. When I look back, I realized that I was initially too focused on the hardware aspects when choosing the best laser for my niece. I was mainly considering whether it used servo motors, the walking area, the right laser tube and appearance. And while these are important factors, I've come to realize over the past year that having easily accessible support has improved the quality of my work more than my laser upgrade. And the software is also crucial for the overall user experience. And I don't mean to downplay the importance of the laser itself, but I've learned that the software and support are equally important. And the benefit of this Rayet R400 is that although it is an entry-level laser for the professional, it shares the same dealer organization as its bigger brother, Trotec. And Trotec is an Austria-based leading laser manufacturer with an extensive line of high-quality laser systems. And Trotec developed these Rayet lasers. So let us look at the laser itself. This Rayet R400 is the newest version, and they upgraded it around 2023. And I have had mine for almost one year now. And although not the most crucial aspect, I fell in love with the design and clean look of this machine. I think it is one of the best looking lasers and it looks incredible in my workshop. And the platform measures around 1000 by 600 millimeters. And the table comes delivered with a slat and grid cutting table. And at first I used a slat cutting table, but recently I switched to the grid table and I use acrylic bars as an alternative when I want to cut larger work pieces. And the acrylic absorbs the laser beam so you do not see the slat reflections when cutting something. And here you see that the metal of the grid creates some sparkles, which leave marks on the acrylic. But acrylic bars absorb the laser beam, creating beautiful finished edges. And this only works when the grid table is flat and stable. And because it is supported by three cross rails, the grid table is very stable, even with some heavier work pieces. So I see it as a great benefit not having to switch tables that often anymore. And in addition, with the grid table, it is easy to get to the bottom of the table to clean or adjust the extraction. However, there is no tray, so you need a shop vacuum to remove small pieces. Another unique feature could benefit you when you often cut light materials like rubber, foam, paper or veneer. The extraction hose is connected to the underside of the table and moves up and down with the table. And designing it this way creates a vacuum under your working area. So when you cut light materials it sucks to the table and stays perfectly flat. But for smaller work pieces you must cover the open area to create this vacuum. But this works perfectly and you no longer have to attach weights and magnets to your workpiece. And when you often work with smaller workpieces, getting some extended tape to cover your grid table can be interesting. Now you can cut away the opening you need for your workpiece and it will not only stay flat and secure in its place, but the suction is also concentrated at the right spot to extract the smoke. And for engraving you can close the extraction in the table and open some extraction ports at the back of the laser. And there are plenty of adjustment possibilities and this works perfectly. I told you that I really like the look of this machine. But not only on the outside. The inside of this machine is so well organized and clean. And for me this clean look tells a lot about the brand and the quality of the machine. There is a large view of the inside of the laser working area and enough light to follow your project. 
And as with all the TrueTech lasers, this ray head comes with a so-called ray pack technology, which means that the linear guides are protected from dust and dirt. And this not only looks incredible, but makes this machine almost maintenance free as well. But also at the back, where you usually do not come, everything is really nicely organized and clean. Look how well all the cables are organized. I simply love it. Cleaning your lenses and mirrors is a daily routine, so making this process as easy as possible is essential. And the laser mirror and lens unit are very lightweight and easy to remove, making cleaning the lens and mirrors very straightforward. The focusing of the lens is done by raising the table and a very simple focus tool. Uh, you must move the walking table upwards until the focus tool tilts to the side or falls of its position. And now the lens is focused on the surface of the material. And in Ruby, you can make specific settings to change the focus for engraving or cutting thicker materials. And there's a red light that makes positioning the laser very convenient. In the software, the red dot is indicated with a cross, and when you move your text or shape to it, it snaps against the cross. And you can do that on all the corners or the center of your text or design. And it makes very accurate positioning straightforward. And one of the biggest advantages of this Rayet laser is that it shares the same software as the Trotec lasers. And this uh, laser software is called Ruby. And I was a Lightband user, which I was very happy with. But you will certainly notice that Ruby is developed with a professional user in mind. The laser software is very important for your workflow. So although they call the Rayet an entry-level laser, from a software point of view, it proves itself in a very professional environment. And creating basic designs in Ruby is possible, but communicates with most used graphic softwares. And I use uh, Cordra and sometimes even Lightburn to make my designs and send them to Ruby. And within Ruby, I can make some final adjustments. And I love the database of all the settings you prefer for different materials. It makes choosing the correct settings very efficient and it becomes a lot harder to make mistakes. And I'm still in the learning curve when it comes to Ruby, but that is because it can do so much more than I need right now. My initial thought was that when I invest this money in a complex machine, I want backup from a professional dealer organization. And of course, everyone values this differently. But like I said in the beginning, the quality of my work improves more because of the support from ThroTech than the upgrade of the machine itself. So now I know that it is a much more balanced decision than just looking for the best machine. And as a laser itself, I'm still impressed with the Rayet R400. It never let me down so far. It is quiet, accurate, well thought out, and simply looks amazing. And when I compare it with the Trotec Speedy series, it is easy to calculate why they are so much more expensive. The Speedy series is so ridiculously fast that when time is spent on a high production workflow, it is easy to calculate the return on investment. But I have to be honest that if I look at the medium trotec machines, the differences are harder to find. And uh, yes, there are more possibilities, but when you're entering the laser business, this Rayet offers so much that I think it is an exciting package. So when you value the, the laser and the organization and the software in the right proportions, I believe that although it may be a bit more expensive than importing a laser yourself, this package offers much better value. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find the information helpful for making a decision about um, a new laser. At least there is now a video online showcasing this amazing machine. Do not forget to subscribe and we'll see each other next time.